All right, we have some major news today. Some major, major news on one of my favorite champions this year, Sandman. And I posted a Sandman review about like two or three days ago, right? And in that review, I said one of his biggest drawbacks is the fact that he is a bit slow in short matchups because in those short matchups, you can't access the SP3. And Kabam agree with me because check this out man sandman is getting a tune-up and in that tune-up they're focusing on making his short form damage even better and how are they doing that well they are making it to where he is based off of modified attack rating now instead of just debuff count because here's how sandman works right now he does increase damage output on his heavy attack uh, burst damage for each debuff on the opponent and this scales with base attack only. It cannot be improved with Fury passives like his signature ability or like his heavy proficiency uh, passive, right? None of those things improve his damage output on the red numbers. And I never liked this. I always thought it was just so silly because why would you give a champion that scales off of base attack a Fury passive for his signature ability? That just doesn't make sense in the slightest, right? But, um... I have a theory, and my theory is that Sandman used to scale with attack rating. He used to scale with like his fury passives, with his heavy like attack buff as well. I feel like he used to scale with that, like in the testing beta, right? And that's why he had the signature ability, because it was just a massive damage increase for him, right? But then at the last second, they just made him scale with base attack only, and that, you know, kind of ruined him a little bit because in the shorter matchups you just have very little damage like it's not little damage but it's just not good enough to be honest and i feel like if he had a way to scale with attack rating he would have that damage so i feel like that's what they're doing now they're just reverting that change that they did beforehand and now we're going to see what sandman was supposed to be like because i am excited here man because i feel like sandman has so much potential and i think he's good right now don't get me wrong i think he is great right now honestly in my review i gave him a 7.5 out of 10 because he is just so utility packed he has so much utility he is the best at something which is great and that is heal reverse they even said in like the forum post that yeah he was absolutely crazy in that one battlegrounds meta with healing he is already a good champion, but that one thing that was holding him back was the fact that he just didn't have too much damage in those shorter fights. But now that's going to change and I'm just so, so happy about it, man. I love Sandman. I love Sandman to bits. He is one of my favorite champions just as a whole because I love sand animations. Sand and water animations are my favorite things ever. Like, that's why my name is Ring 5. That's why I just love Sandman so much because I just love those type of animations. And when Sandman was announced, I just lost my stuff, man. I was so excited. And when he came out, I was honestly, like, kind of impressed at first with his, like, heal reverse stuff. But then as time progressed, I was like, okay, his damage output in these shorter fights does need some work. But in longer fights, it's pretty dang good. And yeah, here we are now. He is getting a buff. And if this fixes his one issue, I think he will be straight to the god tier for a science champion. I feel like he is right on the verge of god tier right now because his utility is just so strong. But he would be a certified god tier champion. So I cannot wait for this, man. I just really cannot wait for this. And best part is his feature crystal is in two weeks, I think. Yeah, it's in literally two weeks. So perfect timing for this as well right and now let's talk about the other champion that's getting a bit of a buff which is shocker now i'll be honest i haven't played shocker too much but from what i've heard from what i've asked like about what people think about shocker i have seen some mixed reviews he is really fun to play do not get me wrong i've played him like as a low level uh ranked champion and he is insanely fun to play but when I, like, ask about him from, like, people that haven't ranked up, most of them are disappointed, and they want him to be buffed. Because here's the thing, Shocker is supposed to be just this Battlegrounds machine, just insane for Battlegrounds. He can just stomp not only mutant characters, but just any champion because of how fast he is, right? 
So that was the vision, right? And did it work? Well, kind of, but not really. He's good for the mutant champions that he was like targeted for, but outside of those, he really just lacks a lot. And honestly, even against mutant champions, if you want to like try to outpace a different nuke champion, you will just not win. I, I feel like you will just not win with Shocker unless he is a rank 5 champion and the opponent has like a rank 3 attacker or something because the nukes are just super fast. And Shocker, he is pretty fast as well, but he does still take some time to get going, to be honest. But like the post said, outside of mutant characters, he really is lacking a bit. And with 7 stars being a thing, like rank 2s, he will definitely struggle there, like 100%. So I feel like the buff is needed at this point because he needs to be adjusted to the 7-star level if he won't be a 7-star himself. And even if he is a 7-star champion, he still needs Max Sig to be like a competitive character, I feel like. Like, Undupe Shocker, you just cannot win with. I I'm sorry, but like if you want to use him for the top of Battlegrounds, you just can barely win with the guy because he does want a lot of ramp unduped especially. So Shocker, there is a lot of like stuff here. Additionally, outside of muted matchups, he has pretty much no utility. Like he doesn't crit, he removes prowess, he has big heavy attack. That's like three things. He has like some stun duration reduction as well, which is pretty cool. Um, he has shock immunity. Like it's just very small stuff that really isn't that general and also he is the best at none of this stuff he does nothing that's in this kit the best like at least salmon is the best hero versus character shocker is the best at nothing he's not even the best like mutant nuke because there is nimrod right there there is lady deathstrike right there so yeah he does need the help 100 percent. so i feel like this is a great change for him um i hope that they just really adjust him properly and he can start being like a really strong attacker in battlegrounds uh, because that's what he was designed for, right? Like, in questing, he'll always be just okay. He'll always be, like, not meant for it. But if he gets adjusted properly, he will have a use in Battlegrounds, right? So I cannot wait for that. Um, Shocker, very cool champion, very fun to play. Looks pretty sweet as well, like, animations-wise. Just looks super cool, right? But yeah, I kind of saw this coming for both characters. I feel like both are pretty sweet, but definitely have some spots where they're lacking for sure. Uh, with Shocker especially, right? But Sandman, already great and going to be even better now, which is just a very nice time. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on these changes. I feel like they should be pretty dang sweet, and I feel like once they are buffed, they'll be very, very strong champions. Sandman especially, because he's coming into the buff with a very good kit already. It's just like that one little point that is making him lack a little bit, right? So once that's fixed, he's going to be crazy good, right? I'm excited. I hope you are too. And uh, yeah, that's about it for me.